What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in the next few videos uh, I will be focusing on the uh, advanced analysis within the 4D and 5D planning and construction phase. Uh, the first video in this chapter uh, will be smart 5D cost estimation and bill of quantities. Uh, that's the starting point of integrated 4D and 5D approach and will further be used for scheduled development, simulations, estimations and so on. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, in case you've missed it, the analysis in the design phase are covered in the first three videos, uh, and you can find those in the description of this video just down below. Before we get started, if you're not using the Bexel Manager yet, you can always request a free trial and automatically get access to the user area. There you can find a lot of educational materials, sample models, manuals, webinars, configuration documents, and add-ins and so much more. Okay, ready? We can say that there are two main workflows within the smart cost uh, management. The first one is using common BIM data for cl cost classification creation, which is useful if you don't have specific properties related to the cost database. database. Uh, if you don't have a previously created base, uh, in that case, you can always use already available BIM data within the model, organize model elements into logical groups and create cost classification. If you have properties related to standardized uh, assembly or uh, custom classification codes, you can use them as rules for cost classification creation. The second workflow is based on import standards or custom cost databases. Uh, that means uh, that you will need uh, to define element uh, qu queries rules for each cost item and link cost classification to BIM model elements. Of course, once you transform the conventional cost base uh, to a BIM cost base, uh, it will be applicable on different projects with, with minimum fine-tuning. Today I will show you how to create BIM cost classification using common project BIM data, categories and families in the most efficient way. In previous videos I have mentioned that the quantity takeoffs can be used for the creation of cost classification and that is the first step in this workflow. Using a creation wizard, the BIM cost classification will be generated and by auto assigning cost to a cost classification to BIM model element software will automatically create BIM base cost estimation and bill of quantities. With this step, uh, we uh, have created 5D BIM model with integrated cost data. Uh, these assigned cost items further will be used for the smart scheduling engine within the integrated BIM approach, but more about that in the next videos. I will demonstrate the creation of BIM cost classification on the Excel sample project. With the cost editor tab, you can notice that there are already some sample cost classifications. I will open up a QTO based uh, to show you uh, the end result of this workflow. A uh, work breakdown structure is broken down by group of works, then by categories and then families. Let's recreate the whole process. Uh, within the uh, quantity takeoff uh, module, I will create a WBS structure. Uh, for the first level, I'll need uh, elements distributed in selection sets by groups of works. I have already covered that topic about selection sets and the importance of templates in the automation of uh, the processes uh, in the previous videos, so I will skip that part and just import uh, the template with already defined rules for the selection set creation. Uh, before import, uh, let's just take a quick look uh, at the document. In the Excel table, there are columns for selection sets, folders, uh, and queries based on the default rules such as categories for smart selection sets creation. So let's import this template. Uh, now we can see that all elements from the bin model are distributed into selection sets according to a group of works. Uh, we can now briefly inspect imported sets. 
Let's create a quantity takeoff. First, name it and select elements for QTO. As I said, first level and breakdown structure will be group of works. And for uh, it, uh, the levels, I will use uh, categories and then families. Uh, for quantity, I will choose count. The next step is cost classification creation. I will switch to the cost editor uh, module. Uh, this module contains tabs for cost item uh, definitions and resor uh, resources. Cost items uh, definition is a list of all cost items from cost classification contained in the model. The resource tab is a list of all resources in the project with defined codes, type, uh, quantity type, unit, unit cost, and so on. Uh, this part of the cost management will be covered in the next video uh, in advance. To learn more uh, on this topic, you can always watch the Bexel webinars for free. The links will be in the description. Okay, now I will click on the new classification, name it, and by choosing option creation wizard from quantity takeoffs, the dialog for cost classification creation will be open. In this dialog, we can define which quantity takeoff we want to use for the work breakdown structure creation. Uh, code for each cost item and quantity formula. Uh, from the code dropdown list, I will choose a scheme for auto coding and for quantity formula count. Auto coding rule can be modified after cost classification is created by clicking on option define code. Here you can edit the coding system, uh, will it use letters or numbers, choose length and separator type. Usage of quantity takeoff for creating a cost classification besides created cost breakdown structure is important uh, because of the automated uh, definition of elements query for each cost item. With element query defined, cost classification is automatically linked to BIM model elements. Uh, that is maybe the main benefit of this workflow. This way, every time when the, when the model is updated, cost classification is up to date. Now, I have to point out that this cost classification can be and should be fine-tuned by adding all necessary information to cost items, adding new positions, deleting unnecessary ones, adjusting formulas, resources, supplements, and so on. So let's say that this BIM classification is just a base, uh, but the fact is that we have generated it within a minute. Uh, and on the other hand, we all know uh, how much of a time-consuming time task this is. Uh, if we did it in the conventional way. I think that we can all agree how uh, beneficial this approach is. I will show you the process on the example of beams. First, let's separate steel beams from concrete ones and create classification item steel beams. Then select cost items in the classification structure, cut them and paste them into created classification item. If we want, for example, to have positions as framework, reinforcement, concrete pouring, and so on, we can add a new classification item, copy and paste already created items, and by editing them, define the quantity formula for calculation of that position. In the tab mappings, we can change the formula using already available properties. Uh, for many cost items, they will be, uh, let's say, volume or square meters, but also you can define the complex formula as in this example. Uh, I think that this is a very, that this is very important because with this option, there is no need for modeling BIM elements for form work. Uh, for example, uh, when you can get uh, prices and other analysis by using this option. In the tab in general, we can change and add information such as daily output, quantity type, unit, unit cost, material, labor, and equipment supplement. If you want to have more detailed analysis, you can uh, calculate them by entering prices as supplements and cost will be the sum of those prices. In case that you are a subcontractor, you can always define prices by using the resource tab. Uh, in any time, uh, we can check our cost items linked to the BIM model elements uh, by option select 
applicable. Uh, this way we are checking uh, does element query uses correct uh, common property, let's say. This can also be done by option check applicable and software will generate selection sets with results. Now all cost items can be modified and fine-tuned in Vexel, but to speed up this process I will export created cost classifications to Excel for even easier editing. Work breakdown structure and all data from software are exported and can be changed here. Code, name, description, unit cost, daily output, quantity type, quantity unit, material, labor, equipment, supplement, quantity formula, element query, and so on. Once you filled an uh, Excel form with the necessary data, you can import back cost classification to Backsell Manager. Click on the import button, select cost classification, and that's it. All information from Excel are loaded into this cost classification. We can check all elements linked to the cost classification. Now let's create a bill of quantities. Select parent classification items within class classification, right click on it and choose options, option auto assign new cost version. System will automatically uh, create cost uh, versions. Let's switch to assigned items module and explore just a created bill of quantities. Now we can filter, for example, structural works within the cost uh, version and check elements uh, within the position. Or we can select elements from the user interface and analyze BOQ for these elements, activating option filter by element selection. Now I will export 5D cost uh, estimation to Power BI. Here we can analyze the created bill of quantity using the interactive dashboards, isolate specific groups of work, uh, check prices on different levels by material, labor, equipment, or total cost, and so much more. And at the end of this video, I want to show you one more option. If you follow common standards or at least project specific guidelines, for example, naming conventions for BIM families and family types, you can reuse once created BIM cost classification on different project types. I will export created BIM classification and import it on the office building. After import, we can select all cost items and isolate applicable elements. Of course, there are some categories or families that are not uh, the same or don't even exist in the previous projects, but uh, if we uh, add new cost items, we will enrich this cost classification and it will grow and be applicable to every project in the future, uh, which follows project naming convention. And that's it for today. So as I said before, uh, more advanced cost classifications and BOQ uh, will be covered in further videos. But before that, in the next video, I will demonstrate the intelligent 4D and 5D construction planning and smart scheduling engine. So make sure to stay tuned uh, for that. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.